Hey, the guy is back again with some more of this stupid game. Time to get a second Dragon Ball. On the airship. But, this time we're going to use Goten, since we just used Trunks for most of the place. So let's get him set up to go. You can see I cleaned some stuff, but I can't wear the clean gi yet. Let's throw on a clean shirt, though. They're better than the stuff I was wearing. Some armbands, and... A whole bunch of stuff I can't wear. Give me a yellow belt. Now, this place is kind of ridiculous. So, here we go. It's full of cyborgs. I don't know why it's full of cyborgs, but it is. And they're actually pretty tough. Especially for small children, like this guy. He's kind of like the thugs, the big thugs, but he hits faster. And he hits pretty damn hard, too, so... If you can get a block in there before he punches you, it's handy. But, this is one of the neater areas. I kind of like it. It's got elevators, and it's got enemies that do combo attacks and are kind of interesting. They all give good experience. This is a pretty good leveling zone when you get to this part of the game if you don't want to deal with uh, hunting around elsewhere. It's actually what I used. It's got a bunch of elevators and moving platforms and shit. Actually mixes up the formula a little bit. Also, these guys do have a distance attack. They will grab you with their claws. Oh, I wanted to kill that one. Oh well. And this area does have one other little surprise at the end of it. Holy shit, that guy has huge shoulders! And a lot of health. Oh, a good old destroyer. You had to walk right into its fire. Damn it, Goten, quit critting it. Oh well. That worked. Even if Goten was being retarded. Don't get knocked back out of the room. Oh yeah, the little guys can do a laser attack. Which is extra annoying. I should have turned back into a Super Saiyan. Oh well, there's nobody in this room anyway, so I can still do it. Shoulder in! They're actually shields, but they're still huge shoulders. As you might have guessed, yes, we're going to have to run back out of the whole area again. Just because that's what happens. But it's way easier to do that part by just avoiding everything that you can avoid. You'll see why in a little bit. But I think we're getting close to the end of it. It's kind of a ridiculously huge airship. Full of even smaller airships. Which are the ones you can find randomly on the map. Whoa, hey. Laser turrets. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Oh good, another destroyer. And it's frickin' Flamethrower of Doom. Anyways, the boss we have coming up next... It is just a tougher version of the claw hand, guys. You should be very close now. This is one of the bigger levels, but I forget how big it is. It's also the only level that doesn't... Whoa. Oh god, I forgot they do this. And they become totally invincible when they're doing that. 
which totally blows. Especially for the last part of this area. Quit punching me, damn it. Hey, I think I just picked up some clown shoes. These guys seem to have a little bit of range on you with their melee attacks, which is annoying. But, I guess they can do whatever they want. Goddamn, when's the end of this level? Another ball guy. Oh, he has a claw guy partner. Badass. There can't be that much more to this stage. Aha, the roof. We are just about there. In fact, that might be the boss. We're right there. I don't remember. 